That ball hit Stanton right up in the face area. It looked like his hands covering his face. He turned into that ball and it caught him right. It looked like up under the helmet mm -hmm. and the Marlins quickly out there. Pitch was 88 miles an hour. It was not a not a breaking ball. Certainly not any intent. We've seen the the Brewers this entire series work Stanton inside after getting an early two outs, three one count on Stanton. Pitch. Look it down. hits Stanton and Stanton gives. A little look, and now has some to say to Mike Fires. And now Stanton going to take a step towards him as the benches will start to trickle out. Stanton will go towards first as James McCann walks him there. Not the first time that Fires has hit Stanton, and the first time was career threatening. So there's a history there between these two. Displeasure with getting hit and his reaction had a lot to do, you think, with who it was, and he's going to like that. And he is going to make sure and stylize that trot. A bomb off the bat of John Carlos Stanton as he wins this battle with Mike Fires. And he gives a little point back to Mike Fires after he crosses home. O2 pitch. Here's another look. Classic hanging breaking ball right in the happy zone. There was a bat flip after this. Well, look at him just watching it. Took a look at Fires, tossed it aside, enjoyed the trot, and then even pointed to Fires after he crossed home. After being hit, I've never been hit like that. Yeah. But I've been hit before, and it, it's scary up around the shoulders. But you can't think about that. He's right. You can't think about it. You won't be able to hit if, you, if you're thinking about that. If it's in your mind, you won't be able to do your job. Yeah, if it's going to come up and in like that, then yeah, it does. Uh, wasn't trying to hit me in that situation, but um, still, with, with the history like it, what happened, um, you know, don't hit me. Is there any better revenge than a 456-foot homer? Um, it was nice. Uh, win would be better, but... Um... The way he handled it, I think it was kind of childish. I mean, you know, anybody knows, you know, watching this game that, you know, I'm not throwing at him. Um, so, you know, he's going to act how he's going to act and, you know, but it kind of shows kind of his character because obviously I wasn't throwing at him, uh, pitch was, pitch was in and, you know, if I could throw, if I could throw a pitch anywhere I wanted every time, I'd, you know, I'd probably be one of the best pitchers in this game. So, um, you know, I got to throw in, I got to throw up, I got to, I got to throw it everywhere and keep these guys, you know, from you know, making good contact with it, and um, you know, so, so be it. You know, I, like I said, I'm not trying to hit anybody, but you know, I definitely got to throw in, and you know, that thing, those things happen every once in a while. You were surprised by the exchange, weren't you? Um, not really surprised. I mean, like I said, I, I understand the history, and I understand that it was a, a bad moment for him a while ago. So, you know, I understand he's upset, but I just think um, the way he handled it after is, I don't know, a little childish. Are you talking? The childish part, like pointing to you after the home run, or before when you.